What is an RTV HVIC RTV generation? G4 is a one-part ultra-hydrophobic UV-resistant coating that enhances an insulator's surface properties to prevent the formation of a conductive layer even in the most polluted of environments. The HVIC is designed to protect AC and DC insulators and air core reactors, ACRs from pollution flashovers. Considering the silicone coating is in liquid form, it takes the shape of any substrate or insulator that it is applied upon and imparts the long-lasting hydrophobic surface properties of a polymer insulator, while retaining the mechanical strength of a ceramic insulator. Essentially, an RTV coating prevents the onset of leakage current and the formation of an electrically conductive path across the insulator due to its sustained property of hydrophobicity. Coastal, industrial, and other forms of pollution are a major cause for leakage current, corona, arcing, and flashovers on insulators, air core reactors, and metallic equipment. The application of G4 is a proven and 100% effective method to mitigate the risks of pollution and eliminate leakage current flashovers while reducing or even altogether eliminating the need for insulator washing. Like ceramic, porcelain insulators like glass and composite insulators and air core reactors, and metallic substrates. Here you can see coatings at 1200 kV AC and 800 kV. HVDC pollution flashovers are a crippling factor for any power delivery system, irrespective of voltage. G4 coating has a 100% flashover elimination record on thousands of pieces of equipment on EHV and UHV AC of 400 kV and 765 kV, 1200 kV, as well as 500 kV HVDC insulators and air core reactors, ACRs. Why G4, the best RTV HVIC, you could use less coating than a Gen 3 coating with ATH, alumina trihydrate filler, and it would still perform as well, if not better. ATH Al 203.3 H2O, principally used as a smoke retardant in some silicone polymer blends, irreversibly breaks down at around 180 OC to 200 OC, due to the heat generated under electrical arcing conditions, and releases water of hydration. Water serves to cool the coating surface, and this works pretty well, but ATH in a layer of coating just a few microns thick is limited, and with every temperature spike, more ATH breakdowns occur and coating mass drops. You could use more Gen 3 coating for a longer life, except that thicker coating layers hamper heat dissipation, which is not a good sign. TGA thermogravimetric analysis will show ATH-filled coatings lose mass drastically starting at around 200 OC. Gen 4 coatings are not plagued with this breakdown at 200 OC problem and have almost a 2x better initial breakdown temperature. So you could use 25% less thickness compared to a Gen 3 coating and still have nothing to worry about. You can see in interpreting the graph, a irreversible breakdown of Gen 3 coatings with ATH starts at 200 degrees, Takaji coating mass erodes, and in Gen 4 quartz filled coatings lose mass only beyond 400 degrees. RTV coatings can be applied over a wide range of, with half coated insulators coating on the pin side with a 300 microns HVIC layer. Pollution performance has been demonstrated to withstand artificial salt fog tests at 400 kV at a staggering 224 kilosus M3 saline density. It is very unlikely that an RTV coating would ever encounter such pollution levels in the field, but is built to withstand it all the same. A leading global insulator major jointly conducted various artificial pollution performance tests, IEC 62507 on their porcelain disc insulators after coating with G4 coating to see whether performance could exceed the required 160 kilogauss mm3 level for polymer insulators and uncoated insulators. The tests all passed at the highest pollution class whether the discs were coated partially or fully or at 300U or 500.U DFT this is 40% better pollution performance and 40% less coating thickness. Here in this video, you can see another option of washing for a polluted glass. Ceramic insulators, a live line insulator jet washing system. Live line insulator jet washing facilities shall be installed on critical power lines, power plants, and distribution substations located in climatic and remote areas with high temperatures, humidity, dense fog, and short rainy season that does not allow for natural washing and dry weather periods, followed by fog, mist, and light rain. When the polluted insulators become wet, 
a conductive layer forms on the contaminated insulator surface, initiating a leakage current. Insulator failure and degradation. Due to contamination, usually occur during high humidity or the beginning of the rainy season. Features of RTV High Voltage Insulator Coating 1. Excellent hydrophobicity and hydrophobic migration, so it can prevent pollution flashover effectively. 2. Resist to high voltage flashover, of good arc resistance, tracking erosion resistance and electrical insulative. 3. High modulus, high strength, strong adhesion and high corrosion endurance can meet the condition-based maintenance requirements. 4. Resist to aging, no peeling, no cracking. 5. Enjoys long effective time, no need to maintain and clean during this time. 6. One component room temperature solidified, handy to use. Equipment after coated could be operated immediately, very efficiently. Application scope of high voltage insulator coatings. One point power company, utility, power station, substation, transmission line, overhead line, and distribution line, etc. 2. Glass or porcelain disc insulator, bushing, long rod insulator, hollow porcelain insulator, etc. 3. Different kind of pollution environments such as slat fog, cement dust, fly ash, oil, and other industrial pollutants. RTV insulator coatings also be referred to as 1. High voltage insulator coatings HVX2, anti trekking coatings 3. RTV silicone insulator rubber CR coatings product standard of RTV. Coating for insulators DLT 627 2012. Room temperature vulcanized silicone rubber anti pollution. Coating for insulators IEE 1523 IEE, a functional insulator. Coating to protect insulators in pollution area, such as industrial area, coastal area, and other extreme environmental conditions, also can be used in normal environmental conditions. RTV PRTV is a one part and new type. Room temperature, vulcanizing RTV silicone. Rubber coating, also be referred to as high voltage insulator. Coatings HVX is based on extensive research and development work that lead to upgrade, the RTV coating. The advantages of enhanced anti-pollution flashover. Coating RTV-1, ready to use without adding solvent to make thinning or excessive mixing shanking before use. Easy to use in different conditions. Two-point excellent self-cleaning and long-term resistance to weathering in a wide variety of pollution environments. Three, long-term hydrophobicity. Suppression of leakage current, discharges, and pollution flashover. 4. Reduced maintenance expenditures and revenue losses, easy to maintain as in washing, compared to conventional insulator surfaces. 5. Facilitated cleaning, in case of extreme pollution deposition, e.g. cement. Even most difficult pollutants can be wiped off by cloth. 6. Strong adhesion to the insulator surface withstand high pressure. 7. The service life is longer than normal RTV coating, at least 15 years in most service conditions. Stable operation, long-lasting performance. 8. Non-toxic and environmental friendly material. Coverage area depends on a range of factors from percent solids, insulator geometry, ambient conditions, applicator skill, and method of application. Further detail you can see in coming slides.